Hello G Nation, I'm your host G, and we're gonna have a look at the brand new Mr. McMahon No Chance in Hell. Now, if you're not already a sub on my channel, make sure to do so as well as clicking that little notification bell so you do get those notifications when I post new videos. Same if you do like the video, leave a like. So as you can see, he is a trickster. We're gonna have a look at five star gold. Again, he's not my Mr. McMahon. He's just there for the preview purposes and then they take him away. Now he's from the Ruthless Aggression era. His coach ability at 9,000 is X break gems do 2200 more damage. So yeah, not that great of a coaching ability really. He has links with the McMahon Emsley regime, WrestleMania 22, the Authority, the Corporation, and Ruthless Aggression, and has no gear. Now, throughout this uh, preview, we will be using a special belt that I'm not exactly sure how you get it throughout the event. Uh, might be in the milestone, not sure. It is the smell of money, the belt, and it adds 5,000 loot gem damage. Obviously a really damn good belt for him. A really damn good one for a Showboat Godfather as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have a look on Vince right now. We might do another video without the belt. Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. As you can see, I'm posting this Pretty much after the event has started. So uh, yeah, pretty short on time this time around. Uh, the gems, on uh, the medals unfortunately are not that great. I do have a level 15 uh, purple move medal here. Uh, ideally I would have wanted four that are armor, but I didn't have enough good armor ones. So I got two armors and two takedowns for this. Uh, most important one obviously is going to be the purple move here because the first move set we're going to have a look at is the triple purple it is the mechman stunner 10 mp purple move finisher finisher deals 177.6k damage choose 16 gems to make into loot gems and pin the opponent the spear 5 mp purple move deal 65.4k damage and make all green gems into loot gems and the corporate leg drop 5 mp purple move deal 67.8k damage and make all loot gems into trap gems if broken by your opponent deal 49 uh, 496.2k damage if broken by you increase your purple mp by 10. now the uh, trainers we're going to be using we're going to use obviously the old mr mcmahon so that loot gems are going to do 34 150 more damage plus purple move start with two more move points uh, now uh, keep in mind that they did add an extra level for mr mcmahon here which mine is not high enough but his trainer ability at 17k moves from 3450 to 4500 more damage so that's even better I'm gonna put um, uh, not Motu Mutant Doink so that purple finisher are gonna do 150% more damage. You see here that in increase the finisher to 524, not counting the uh, the the metal I got on. Uh, for the same reason, I got uh, All of Fame Trish for an extra 20% and Gooker for another 25 it increase all of those now you're gonna have the way that we're gonna play this uh i haven't tried it yet <laughs> but on paper the plan here uh basically we're gonna be using depending on where the loot and the greens are we're gonna be making uh, all the greens into loot and switching all the loots into trap gems and then we're gonna use the finisher which is on itself gonna do like probably around 800k or something it's going to do a lot of damage plus we're going to place those uh, loot gems you, we can use them for two things we can use them either to do a lot of damage or even better we can place them to basically guarantees that those are the only option he's going to have to get out of the pin because any anytime he's going to try to move them around uh, it's going to hit some of those traps 
and those straps are gonna do like 500k each plus it's gonna fill up uh, no sorry if we break them ourselves it's gonna fill up our purple so yeah I mean, we'll see how it plays out but uh, it looks pretty good on paper definitely not something we're used to see All right, so I don't have any greens close to loot gems, so we're gonna convert all the greens right away. There you go, now I do need some purples. Doing this pretty much reloaded everything. Oh, I forgot to say I got a DX plate on right now. You could use the plate that uh, generates extra ge extra uh, loot gems. Uh, no, the plate that gives you purple when you match some uh, loot gems, but we don't really need it because uh, our traps already give us a ton of purples, really. So we only have one extra green that was created. Now we're going to make 16. You kind of want to give him options here. You want to break the other options that he might have. So much stuff flashing and losing sight. All right. So now he's doing himself some damage. Plus, everything he tries to break doesn't do any damage. And he's out. Definitely not efficient for speed. But it definitely gets the job done. Because whatever he breaks does nothing. Because... Loot gems do nothing for him. And if it happened to have some traps on it, it does 500k extra damage on him. So that's pretty damn annoying and uh, it works really good. All right, let's uh, look at something else now. All right, second move set for Mr. McMahon. It's gonna be still the McMahon Stunner 10 MP purple move finisher deal 177.6k damage. Choose 16 gems to make into loot gems and pin the opponent. The Corporate Elbow 6 MP Black Move deals 73.4k damage and make all purple gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, decrease the damage of all your opponent gems by 30% for 2 turns. If broken by you, deal 75.1k damage and increase your Black MP by 5. The Pedigree. 8 MP Black Move deal 86.2k damage and choose 7 gems to make into purple gems. Trainers, you got pretty much two options here. Uh, I'm putting Bray so that we start with more black, but as for the secondary trainer, I'm keeping uh, my uh, Doink here just so that the purple finisher does 150% more damage because I'm still going to be banking on the damage that my finisher does plus my gem placement to hopefully just prevent him from kicking out, period. But instead of doing, you could definitely use Vince and just go for max out damage. Your finisher would do a lot less, obviously, but you would have all those loot gems that would probably be doing like 10 or 11K each, and you're making like a choose 16 out of those. I'm keeping Trish and Gooker here to add on top again to the finisher. Let's see, we might actually try both specs well not both spec both trainers just to see i want to see how this one goes first 
I don't like to like try stuff before I can record it for preview. Like every time I do a preview, it's the first time I try it. Most of like 99% of the time, because kind of feel otherwise it's like fake reaction to what's happening if I already know how it's gonna go. All right, so first option we have, we can make all purples into traps. I'm not gonna use it right away. What I'll do. I'll place this here. And then I'll just have a bunch of them a little everywhere. That way nothing matches yet. Now I'm gonna turn them into traps. Now well, for this you could use, uh, is it the, oh, what's the name of that plate? Like the eternal positivity, whatever. The one that affects when you use purple and blacks, that would be a good plate for this. So if you remember well the traps, what it does, if it's if it's the opponent that breaks it, it makes it so his gems do 30% less damage for 30 turn. And if I break them, it's 75k each and increase my black MP by 5. So it basically reloads my move. So we're going to use that. Hopefully it's going to stay my turn. Perfect, it did. Uh, how do I want this to play out? We're going to be making more of those, I guess. More traps. And now, we're going to cut his options a bit. I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use those. I'm not going to use this. Not this. I'm basically forcing him like he's gonna have to use those. And let's just add a few else when not this one. Alright, something like that. It's not going to give him a lot of options. All right, now it reduces his gem damage because he broke a bunch of traps. Yeah, he couldn't do shit. Definitely effective, but I mean, you really got to overthink it. So that really slows you down. Like, I wouldn't use that for feuds. For feuds, I would probably just use it like for just full on damage, don't care. Which is what we're gonna try right now. All right, we're gonna do the exact same thing we just tried with the stunner, the elbow, and the pedigree. Although this time I switched out Doink for Mr. McMahon. So it's not gonna be as much about the finisher as it will be for the actual damage of the loot gems. Uh, this would obviously be better if you got like the making rain uh, metal sets which i don't uh, we are, still have two coaches that do boost a little the finisher by about 45 percent uh, but like you see here we're losing about 300k damage from it so the finisher alone should not be enough to keep them down but the gem damage might so we'll see Right now it's gonna be all about gem damage. Not only the gem damage that's gonna come from or uh, loot gems, but also the fact that the traps we're gonna break are gonna be 75k each as well. 
start by making our purple areas. Here. Something like that. Now we're gonna make them into traps. Hopefully this is gonna stay my turn. It did. Perfect. We're gonna make more purples just because I wanna make more traps. Doesn't matter much where I put them. Convert them into traps. And now we want to make sure that we break as many of those traps as we can. Because they're going to be 80k each. It's going to break all those two rows. It's going to break all of those. Let's do this as well, number three. Actually, let's not get this one, let's get this. All right, something like that. Should do a decent amount. One point nine million, I'd say that's pretty decent indeed. That turned out better than I thought. I, I think I actually like this better with the gem damage than I did with the move damage. All right, let's uh, try for a different move set now. All right, last move set. We're gonna have a look for Mr. McMahon. It is gonna be the chokehold eight MP red move color submission. Choose eight gems to make into loot submission gems and do 24.6k damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into crossbreak gems. The attitude adjustment, eight MP red move, deal 82.9k damage and choose seven gems to destroy. And the corporate elbow, six MP black move, deal 73.4k damage and make all purple gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, decrease the damage of all your opponent gems by 30% for two turns. If broken by you, deal 75.1k damage and increase your black MP by five. Rainers we're gonna do we're gonna use for that. Butch so that we start with more red. And uh, we're gonna have uh what's his name? <laughs> Harper, sorry. So that red move will destroy four extra gems. Uh, we're gonna have Andrade here so that we have 25% increased chance for purple gems on the board. And we're gonna put Lashley just so that our submission is gonna do 50% more damage and last one extra turn. So submission is basically gonna be just so he can't do any moves. Uh, the traps we're gonna lay down and we're gonna use the destroy move here to uh, basically just blow them out and reload our moves. Let's see how that goes. All right, so we're gonna start with the submission right away. that I don't have my black ready Probably could have placed them a little better. Still gonna break a bunch. Let's 
get a few reds too. Gonna break, this is gonna break, this is gonna break. Still pretty much getting most of the gems here. Eh. I've got almost all the board anyway. Traps. get all the bottom board just for shits and giggles but actually no that's not gonna work we can't do that because if we do that they're all gonna connect Move actually would have been better if it didn't make them into loot gems. Okay, let's convert the purples. I don't like this moveset whatsoever. I don't think I played it extremely well either, but... First time I try it, but yeah, I don't like it. Okay, so this is gonna turn out those. This is going to break a lot of shit. Take this. Let's take this. Any of them remains. Let's take this one. This one gets broken. This one gets broken. Take this. Take this. Five. You got out of it. Okay, let's make traps. We're gonna get our black back anyway. just doesn't have enough firepower. Let's do the submission.
Okay, let's make a bunch of traps. And let's break some stuff. This breaks all that. This. This is gonna break that. Break this one too. This, this, yes, 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 yes. All right, so all the traps are getting broken. At this point, we're not missing much. Let's get the blacks here. This gets broken. Let's get this one. This are already getting broken. This two, these two. I think that pretty much covers everything, so let's get rid of the rest. Got the whole board indeed. A million. And this definitely works. I totally don't like it. It's uh, even more overthinking than the rest is. Well, that's pretty much it for Mr. McMahon. Uh, I think he's definitely a very strong character for sure. I mean, you saw uh, one of my moves said earlier, we did 1.9 million without the sweat. Uh, that worked out really damn well. Uh, I wouldn't make him a top tier character though. Uh, not because he can put out the damage, because he definitely can. Uh, and he can do it fast enough, but more because it's a character that's definitely more slow paced because you got to think where you place your stuff. And uh, like for feuds and stuff, like you don't want that for feud. You don't want anything slow for feud. And I mean, well, obviously as you get used to it, you probably do it faster, but it's still slow pace overall. Well, as far as if you can get him, well... No no That's pretty much it, really. <laughs> The event itself is incredibly hard to max. You don't get him if you max the event. So you pretty much got to pull him. There's no shards or anything. So yeah, he's going to be a hard one to get. Also, keep in mind, everything you saw here included the uh, the trap that increased by 5,000 the damage of our loot gems. Now, uh, loot gems damage was not that big of a deal for a lot of our different movesets, so I don't think it's absolutely a must-have, but it's definitely a nice to have for sure. So thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them, and if you like the video, leave a like and share. You guys, GL. Ciao.